there guys, it is Sincerely here and welcome back to the channel. Today I am back with another video for you all and today I am back with a Sims speed build. I don't know why I had to say Sims speed build, we already know we're in the Sims. My username is Sincerely so like literally I it's a Sims build. I mean I don't even need to say that. Anyways, um, today we are building a Japanese townhome in Mount Kamarebi which is all so exciting. I literally am so stoked about this build. This is probably one of my favorite builds. I've built in a long time and also I guess it's just I really love this build because I got to add so much personality to the rooms because I know the sims living in this house and the reason I know the sims living in this house is because they are sims that are part of my new let's play that is going to be coming out in a couple of days um my snowy escapes let's play which I am super uber so stoked about so I hope you're as stoked about it as I am and it's just gonna be super fun it's gonna be super vibey it's gonna be all the vibes it's so exciting but but I was just so excited to add so much personality to this home because I knew the Sims that were moving into this home. Um, and so I just think that was super exciting to be able to do that. And also, I thought it was super cool to use all of the new items. Like, they did a really good job. Like, just saying, the Sims team did a really good job on all of the items in this new pack. I think it's super cool how they were able to incorporate like the culture aspect into it along with, you know, some like modern slash kind of like anime kind of vibes. I don't know if I'm even saying that right, but like, I don't know, they got like kind of like the, um, what's the mascot? I forget the mascot, like the mountain dude. Um, I forget his name. Um, Yamachan, I think his name is. Um, but I'm glad they incorporated him and added like the, um, whatever the things are that kids can collect. I forget what they're called, but I just think it's super cool how they added like that kind of culture vibe into it. And then like also they added just so many, so many cool things, so many cool aspects to it. So, um, I just enjoyed building this. I enjoyed, you know, figuring out how the, how everything worked, how, I don't know, just how everything just came together. It's just so pretty and so amazing and I just love it so much. And not to mention, I am kind of like a, okay, I don't want this to sound weird, but um, I kind of love Japanese culture. Um, I just think it's so, just so interesting, especially um, about like, I don't know, it's, I just think it's so interesting their like culture and their history, especially like evolving from like going from like the 20th century era. I just think that is so fascinating. Um, and so I was just super excited that I was able to kind of do something, not do something, but like, you know, have Japanese culture involved in this and be able to use that. And I just think, oh my gosh, it's so amazing. I love it so, so much. And then one day I really want to learn Japanese. That is like on my bucket list. So one day I'm going to be speaking Japanese. It's going to be pretty cool. <laughs> but for right now, this is what we got. We got this build and I'm just super stoked about it. And I hope you're as excited as I am. Um, and I did find some inspiration off Google. I did find like some pictures because I really had no idea how or what to build. Obviously, I could see some from the houses in the game as to what could be inspiration for this. Um, but I really got my inspiration off Google and I found like a couple houses and I kind of went off of those multiple builds and I was like, okay, I'm going to build from this. This is what I'm going to build. So, um, hopefully I, you know, it looks somewhat, you know, um, realistic to what it would be in real life, but if not, it's okay. It's the Sims. So like, whatever. But, um, I do really enjoy this build and I always enjoy, like I say, I always enjoy making builds when, they are for a particular family and I know who the family is. You can kind of see them right out of the corner of your eye right there. Um, the little sims that I have planned for you guys. And I'm just super excited. I love the characters in this Let's Play so, so much. Um, I don't want to give too much away, but it is like a little, like it's, I don't know how to say, I don't know, how, I don't know. I don't want to give too much away, um, but it's just, it's an exciting little fam, and they're just super adorable. I, all of that jazz. I love it so, so much, and regarding the fact that my Let's Play is coming out so late, um, I did not get the Snowy Escapes Let's Play, or Let's Play. I didn't get the Snowy Escape pack till, like, later, so, because your girl doesn't have money, so, like, I had to get it for the holidays, and um, so I, I waited to get it, and I'm kind of glad I did because I'm glad that I was like able to like watch people play with the game before I actually purchased it because I wanted to make sure that I liked the game um, because I've been known to purchase things and then not like them. Like, for instance, like I purchased like when, uh, hmm, okay, so when 
the get together first came out i i didn't even know what the pack was about but i had to get it right and i was like i have to get this pack i don't care what it's about i just have to get it and then i was like i don't like this like i like i don't even use get together in my life which is so horrible which i should feel like i should use and i kind of feel guilty about never using it but like also i bought it and so i i mean i use i like the cast items from it but everything else i'm not a big fan of so i don't know i guess it's just it ebbs and flows and it's it's different for every pack and stuff like that and i hate rushing into things and i rush into things too quickly and just oh you know, you know how it is. So, um, but with this pack, I was really excited because I got to watch people live stream it and do all of that stuff before I actually purchased it. And I'm glad I did wait because I just, I love it so much more. And it just like, I get to discover it on my own instead of like, um, I don't know, just going at it like really quickly and just trying to discover things really quickly. I don't know if that makes any sense, but um, I guess just kind of discovering the build as I want to and kind of, or not build, discovering the pack as I want to. So yeah, more on my terms instead of having to do it for a Let's Play and I've been able to do that, which is super exciting. Um, so yeah, I really actually, speaking of which, I really haven't used the pack much. However, I have used a bunch of the build items, which I absolutely adore, um, but I also have used the cast items which I'm absolutely obsessed with like no joke there that is just like the best part of the pack is the cast items um but it's funny because I'm not that big of a cast person like I like building sim building making um I like making sims but I'm also not don't make them all the time like I don't know um like sometimes I'll just randomly go into the game and just start randomly making sims but then other times I'm just like you know what I just want to like I want to make a new household but I'm too lazy to make sims you know what I mean so um that's my vibe that's where that's where we're vibing um but yeah so that is everything I feel like I wanted to talk about in terms of the build and all of that jazz and if you want to download this like I say in every single build you can download this on the gallery at sincerely123 and yeah so so what else is new? What's up with you guys? Oh my goodness, how could I forget? It's a new year. Wow, <laughs> but what a big life change that I totally forgot about. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's a new year, you guys. Um, Happy New Year. Oh my goodness, you guys, that is so insane. I can't believe it's 2021. I swear I'm gonna sw slip up and say it's 2020, which we aren't a fan of. We aren't a fan of saying it's 2020 anymore because we all know how 2020 went. Um, but for right now, it is 2021. It's a chill vibe. It's been chill the f whole year so far. Only been four days into the new year. Not, 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 nothing much. Not exciting a whole lot, but it's great. It's fine. You know, it's crazy because it's like, I don't know. It's just crazy that it's only been four days into the new year and it feels like, it just doesn't feel like it's a new year to me at all. I mean, I feel like for one, it's not that cold where I live. And so I guess it just doesn't feel like winter. And obviously, you know, it's kind of weird is because like people in Australia, it's like hot during the winter time. That's so weird to me. Um, or like it's their summer when it's our winter. Anyways, um, I don't know why I just mentioned that, but I don't know. It's kind of weird because like usually I associate like, you know, Christmas and the holidays and New Year's Eve with coldness and it's not cold here at all which is crazy like literally I mean I live in California so like what do you expect um but it does snow in some places in California like um it used to snow I think I think I've been like Northern California it does I've never been really to Northern California before which actually I don't know I I haven't really been anywhere in California besides like two places um is like <laughs> two places I've been like I've been on vacation to Los Angeles and um to oh my gosh what's it called um San Francisco wow how did I forget that for a minute? Um, those are like the two places I always vacation to. So um, <laughs> I guess it's just, I don't really know much about other places in California. So that is something I need to discover, but not during COVID. That is not a thing. That is not fun, not exciting. Um, don't want to catch that virus. Um, but hopefully we do get a vaccine soon because that would be great. Honestly, I'm all for those vibes. Um, hopefully it comes soon. I thought, I saw on the news that it's supposed to come out in a couple of weeks, like, or n not a couple of weeks it's already come out but like um i think by they said like june that the pop like the majority of the population will be able to get the vaccine which is super exciting super excited about and i think that'll be great so yeah and then like i have so many goals for the new year i'm just so excited i'm just so 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 excited about the new year and setting goals and all of that jazz i think it's just so exciting to be just part of all of those vibes doing all those things you know what i mean um i just love setting goals and not really new year's resolutions i don't know i'm not really a big fan of new year's resolutions i guess it's just new year's resolutions always i always associate that with like um i don't know bad things and not really like 
not so great things. You know what I mean? I don't know if that makes sense. But like, I just feel like New Year's resolutions are like kind of bad connotation. Whereas like goals are like, yeah, you know, we're going to encourage each other to work on these goals and work on things and do all these things. So I don't know. But for right now, it is New Year's goals. And I got some New Year's goals for y'all. I want to share with y'all. Um, why did I say y'all? I'm not even from anywhere that says y'all. I'm from California. What the heck? Well, technically I was born in Texas. So maybe that's where I get my y'all from. But um, I don't know. Peace sign me. <laughs> awkwardness um I don't know whenever it gets awkward I always just randomly pop out the peace sign is that just me I feel like I don't know is that just me I swear like people do that but like I swear that's just a me thing because it's like whenever it's like it's awkward I just randomly pop out a peace sign I'm just like hey sup <laughs> um but yeah anyways um so I do have some goals that I have for the new year and I want to share a couple with them with y'all um I know maybe I don't know I don't know is this like a thing do we share goals with each other I don't know if you have goals let me know in the comments down below because I love hearing about people's goals I love like getting ideas for goals I just love goals I love the whole idea of goals um so yeah but like okay so one of my goals this year is I'm looking on my phone right now to look at my goals one of my goals this year is to learn the ukulele. I have this ukulele sitting in my closet for years now. I used to know how to play the ukulele when I was really young, um, but then I kind of forgot how to play it, so um, I don't remember at all how to play it. I used to be able to play the guitar, and I used to be able to play the ukulele, and now I can't play either because I don't remember how to play them, and I just like, wouldn't it be so cool to be like one of those people that's like absolutely amazing and like literally plays instruments? Like, how cool is that? Like, just be musically inclined. I'm not musically inclined, but, like, if I could be, that would be amazing. Um, but, yeah, so I want to learn the ukulele, and my one goal is to learn A Thousand Emerald Pools, which, if you know that song, you're, you're a real one. You know. You know. Um, a Thousand Emerald Pools is a song by Borns, which, honestly, I, if you feel weird about me saying that band, I'm sorry, because, like, I love the band, but also uh, there's been some controversy with it, so I also agree it's kind of, yikes um so just saying i i don't know i love the music don't necessarily agree with what he's done but anyways um besides the point i want to learn a thousand emerald pools because i love that song very much and um it was like my first baby song that i when i learned it when i when i first that was like the first song that i listened to when i first got into indie music and now i'm obsessed with indie music so like it's a vibe. <laughs> it's a total vibe right now um, because I just, I love that song. And then another thing that I want to do this year is more, learn more video editing skills. And I said with a Z on the end of skills because I don't know. Anyways, um, so I want to learn some video editing skills because I feel like I know some video editing skills, but I'm not great at it either. So we're going to be learning more about that this year, which I'm super excited about. I'm not necessarily sure how we're going to learn about this, but we're going to learn about it. I'm guessing maybe we'll just watch some YouTube videos and stuff. Not sure yet, but we'll see. Um, and then another goal of mine is to create a write for one hour each week. Um, I have really been lacking this past year in creative writing. Now, if you know me, I've talked about my creative writing in the past. Um, I love to write creatively. It's like my goal in life. I want to be a writer. I want to be an author. I would love to do that with my life. Um, so I guess it's just, I really want to do that with my life. And um, I just, last year I was really slacking in the idea of doing creative work. And this year I definitely want to work on that more because I just, I need to get back to that part of me that's just so good, just so good. And you know what I mean? Um, so I'm just like so excited to write more. And I really want to finish one novel that I've been working on for like two years now. Um, and it's like crazy because I would just, I want it to be so good, but it's, I'm also a perfectionist. So like, what do you know? What do you know? Um, so yeah, um, but those are some of my goals in terms of skill goals. And then I also want to ha go to Canada, which is more of like a thing that I want to do more on my bucket list rather than like a goal. But you know, we can say it's a goal. I want to go to Canada. Um, I want to go to Canada for the new year. That is my goal. Like be there on the new year. I don't know where. If you guys have ever been to Canada or been there on New Year's Eve, let me know where they celebrate because I literally have no idea. I need to do research about this. I don't know. I don't know nothing. Um, so I guess we'll see as time goes on and what happens with my trip to Canada. But um, I'll keep you guys updated on that when, when I go, which will probably be a year from now, which is so insane. Um, might be in Canada a year from now, which literally crazy. Um, I'm not reading off all my goals, but for right now, I'm just reading off a couple of them. Um, 
Another goal of mine is to go to bed by 10.30 or go to bed by 10, go upstairs and go into bed by 10.30 and go to sleep by 12. Um, that is my goal. That is my goal because if you know me, my sleep schedule is literally whack. Um, my sleep schedule is literally insane. It's not even funny anymore. Um, so that's what I want to do. I want to be able to get to bed at a reasonable time and then wake up at a reasonable time. And my reasonable time for waking up is by 7 to 8 a.m. Now, if I can do that, your girl is going to be amazing and she's going to be able to do anything. Um, so let's hope we can do that. <laughs> so those are just a couple of my goals. Another goal of mine is to buy um, two items from a sustainable business. Now, um, I think I only did two buy two items from a sustainable business just because I'm really starting to get into it and I haven't really gotten too much into it yet um and I just want to like ease my way into it instead of like going full-blown like crazy buying all sorts of things um so I just want to I want to be reasonable with myself so yeah and then another goal of mine which is probably more relevant to you guys who's watching this video is um I want to start streaming on Twitch it's a question mark now I put a question mark start streaming on Twitch question mark because I was like I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it because I just, I don't know you guys. Um, I really want to start streaming on Twitch, but I also really don't know anything about Twitch. Like I really, like I understand how it works, but I also am still really confused about it. So I need to figure that out. Um, and it's like, how do you learn about something when it's like a social media thing? You know, it's like, I don't know. How do you learn about that stuff? You know, um, because it's like no one teaches you about how to use Instagram. No one teaches you how to about use Twitter or Twitch or whatever. You know, no one te teaches you how to use it. So I'm not exactly sure how to use it, but I have watched videos of like live streams on there, but I still don't understand it completely. So we are going to, we are going to, we're going to learn. We're going to learn. Um, and then my other goal of mine is to start a Let's Play that I've been wanting to start for a really long time. I've been wanting to start this Let's Play since last year. I don't want to give too much away about it, but it's a let's play that I have like planned out for like just everything it's so good it's like it's I feel like it's kind of gonna be one of those let's plays that's gonna be on going on for a while um I haven't planned out every single detail of it but I'm just super excited about it so that's another goal of mine and that let's play may come out in I don't know April to May-ish time um I'm not exactly sure right now it just depends when I can finish up the eco lifestyle let's play because I really don't want to have more than like a couple let's plays going on at a time so we're just trying to be under control because we know how it is when we get too many Let's Plays going on and then we go a little insane. So uh, I just, I want to be careful with what I do and um, what I, what, what, what I, I don't know. I just want to be careful that I don't put too much out, stuff out at once that I'm being too ambitious because I know I'm a little too ambitious and it's little, it's a little insane. So yeah, those are some of my goals. I do have a bunch more. I have like 30 something goals on my list, which is literally insane. Why do I have so many goals? don't know, but I am an ambitious person. Um, those are some of my goals and I don't really know. I don't know. Um, but let's see, I guess we'll see how many I accomplish. We'll see if I start streaming on Twitch. I don't really know. Um, it also depends with my school schedule if I'll start streaming on Twitch or not. I don't know. I think that's also part of it too, is because, um, I need to be able to make sure that I like am working with school and I'm not like slacking in school or anything like that because if you know um I was supposed to take a gap year this year but that didn't happen because of Miss Rona so I'm not taking a gap year and instead I am doing school which is actually kind of exciting I'm excited about it and I like school so it all works out in the end right right so those are some of my goals um let me know what some of your goals are because like honestly I'm just kind of feeling I'm feeling the vibes I'm feeling inspiration for you know new goals and all of that jazz I'm always looking for new things to do always looking for new hobbies always looking for new things um I feel like I have so many hobbies it's like ridiculous is that just me do other people have this many goals that are like have as many hobbies as me I, I don't really know I feel like I have like 20 hobbies um like playing the ukulele is one of them doing sims is a hobby doing youtube is a hobby um i don't know they're all just hobbies i don't really know um but yeah so it's funny because i had a snapchat prediction told me a little miss snapchat prediction told me that i was going to be this is going to be my happiest year ever um so i'm kind of excited about that i mean despite the fact that we have miss rona going around i still think it could be a good year i'm not exactly completely sure but we'll see hopefully it's a good year i'm hoping it is but um since i got that snapchat prediction i'm hoping it's a good year i really am um so i guess we'll see as the year continues and i guess it's just like we don't know anything what's gonna happen this year i mean we literally did not know anything about miss coronavirus last year i mean I mean, unless of course you were in like 
any of the like countries near China or anything like that. But yeah, it's crazy. Oh my gosh, you got oh my gosh, oh my gosh, um, oh my gosh, it's insane. Um, but yeah, it's funny because last year I had this prediction on my phone. You know how they did. Um, so when I was talking about Snapchat prediction, you know how like you go on Snapchat, if you don't have a Snapchat, this is going to be really confusing for you, but on Snapchat, you have these filters and then they like, you click on them and then you like, I don't know, you click on them and then they like tell you a prediction. I don't really know how to describe it, but anyways, you have a prediction and, or they give you a prediction. It's like kind of like one of those things, those things that are really popular like last year, like you put them on your, for they put them on your forehead and they're like, what kind of animal are you? What kind of human are you? You know, those kind of things. Anyways, it's like that but basically a prediction. Um, and so I had one from last year and it said, don't forget to use the bathroom. And I just think that's so funny. Um, cause I can't really think of a time that I forgot to use the bathroom last year, but maybe I did forget to use the bathroom last year. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness. A little too TMI there. Am I right? Am I right? Um, but yeah, so I don't know. I just thought that was kind of funny that like last year, my whole thing was like, don't forget to use the bathroom on my Snapchat prediction. Um, so yeah, it's kind of cool though, looking back and seeing all the like things like your predictions and just like what you anticipate the year about the year and stuff like that it's definitely one of those things I would recommend to anyone to do is write down your like predictions for the year but also write down like your goals and you know your big accomplishments of last year I just always think that's the best kind of dealio kind of thing to do I don't know I just love doing that I think you know having predictions having things that you look forward to things that you're excited about you know figuring out what your predictions are and then like actually seeing what comes of that is so exciting I had this when I was like how old was I I was probably like hmm I think I was like oh I was 14 at the time oh my goodness I'm 18 now by the way for reference but when I was 14 I had this little journal thing that I had at the beginning of the year and basically it was a like it was like I had written to myself in the back of the journal and I just remember you know just seeing what I wrote like a year later and I was like whoa that's so crazy a lot has changed but also not a lot has changed you know so I just thought that was kind of exciting that you know you can kind of see how things change and things move and go along but also it's crazy because I feel like a lot changes in a year but also at the same time a lot doesn't change in a year I don't know is that just me I feel like a lot changes but at the same time it doesn't I don't know I feel like it's just like you can't rush things you can't rush things to happen you can't rush things to change I don't know it's just interesting and in figuring out all of that jazz so yeah I don't know it's super exciting super exciting things which it's just like oh my gosh new year I love planning for new years I know I keep saying this like literally all the time but yeah I love new years I love fresh starts and and I guess like also the thing is you can start a fresh start whenever you want. It doesn't have to be at the beginning of the new year. Um, like literally I started a fresh start like, I don't know, like um, like in the middle of like, I don't know, like August of a couple of years ago and it was like just like a new beginning for me and everything like that and I don't know I don't know why I mentioned that <laughs> that's so random um but yeah so I literally I don't know what's been going on today today has been an interesting day today was the first day I woke up early in like a long time um since I haven't woken up early all year long uh, you know um but I haven't woken up early all year long because it's been a new year and I've been sleeping in it and I've been trying to give myself some grace with that and just trying to be like, okay, chill, relax. Like you don't need to be crazy. Um, so yeah, I've been trying to be relaxing, relaxed with myself and not freak out about, you know, um, about just being too crazy on myself. So I've been trying to, you know, um, just kind of what's the word, give myself grace. And I think that's really important. So that's like also one of my intentions for the year is to give myself grace. And I guess it's just a super important thing and super something super important to remember. So yeah. So yeah, that is like, I guess I feel like that's all I have to say. I feel like I have to keep talking because I don't know what else to talk about. <laughs> but yeah, we are working on the apartment right now and I want to call it an apartment, but it's technically not an apartment. It's a house. Um, so I don't, I don't really know. Um, but yeah, I, I, I kind of call it an apartment. I'm not really sure. I don't know, you can call it what you want. It's an apartment to me. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, I definitely went for, I forgot to mention this when I first um, started the video, but for this house, I definitely went for a kind of, uh, what you call it? Like kind of um, very like young, hip, hop and pop and 
kind of house. I don't know. Um, I just definitely wanted to go for a like kind of young hipster kind of vibe, if that makes any sense. Um, I don't know if that makes any sense, but I definitely wanted to go for like kind of a young hipster vibe because the people living in this house are just absolute queens and kings. Um, so um, I just wanted to say that. So and there's only two people living in this house, so one queen, one king, and um, they're just absolute amazing people and I love them so much. Um, just saying, they're like my babies. Um, I mean like literally all my sims are my babies, so like what can I say? I don't know. What can I say except you're welcome? Okay, sorry. <laughs> Just had to reference to Moana. If you know, I'm obsessed with that movie. That is my favorite movie ever in the whole entire world. Um, and you cannot persuade me any other way because I love that movie. So, um, yeah. Oh my goodness. I am like... I don't know if you can tell, but progressively throughout this video, my voice has gotten weirder and weirder all throughout this video. I feel like my voice is getting smaller and smaller as I talk, and I don't really know what's going on. I feel like I have something caught in my throat, and I'm not completely sure what's going on. Um, I hope I don't have Miss Rona. I haven't been out of the house in weeks, so I don't think I do, but um, it's just ugh, weird in my throat. It's like, ugh you know, um, but you don't probably don't want to hear about that. So yeah, but yeah, so right now we are working on the kids bedroom um, because there is a little child that lives in this house and um, she is super cute and I love her so, so much. And she is kind of more of a tomboy kind of sim. I don't know. Um, and she's just super adorable and she, I just love her to death and she's really much of a bookworm. So I wanted to definitely add in some bookcases around the house so that she could read some and just do kind of that stuff. And she's definitely more of an introvert type of sim um so I guess you'll get to see that as you see the sim I mean I feel like both of these sims are kind of introvert sims actually which is kind of interesting because I feel like most of the time when I create characters like in the sims most of my sims are pretty outgoing you know um but this time I have some pretty kind of introverted characters for you guys to see and I mean of course like they're like characters that have friends but like you know um I mean introverts can have friends like come on um but I just I think they're more they're more you know they'd rather work on themselves and be with themselves than with anyone else so I definitely wanted to work on that vibe for them so I hope that you see that throughout this house but um again I put up a lot of posters in the house I put up a lot of like young kind of hip pop in stuff in this house um because I just really wanted to go for that vibe and I just really wanted to have my sims have that so yeah and this is the guy's room um and he is a really cute sim and I just think that he is just like super he he's kind of shy and he doesn't really know how to be around people I would say that he kind of has like maybe a form of social anxiety or something he's really only comfortable around people that he's around um, so that's kind of interesting and kind of interesting to see our sim and how he evolves, but we'll see for right now how they are. I feel like I'm giving way too much away about this let's play, but for right now, this is what we got. This is what we got about our sims. So hopefully you enjoy it. Um, so yeah, that, that is about it. We are just kind of finishing up here and, um, you guys will see that let's play in a couple of days and yeah, so I hope you enjoy and I will see you guys all in another video. Um, thank you so much for watching and and I hope you all have a magical day and I will see you all in another video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.